What's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Today, I want to make a refresh review of one of my most popular videos, the Insta360 Pro review videos. So today has some exciting news because Insta360 just released a new firmware update from version 165 to version 200, 200. And this update currently right now is still in beta, but there's a lot of really impressive feature that Insta360 brought into this professional camera. Like you can right now shot 12K high, high resolution image. So even the Obsidian right here, the S and R, and the Obsidian Go can only shot 8K stereoscopic. And that camera for me right now can shot 12K both mono and stereoscopic photo. So in this video, we actually look at the quality, like how much increase in quality have that like extra 4K resolution onto your photos. And also, I just want to explain that this is a 360 video, and I would strongly suggest you look at the quality. Uh, go on here and click on YouTube and pick 8K resolution because this is an 8K video. And I'm wearing a really weird shirt. This is a calibration shirt I'm wearing, so you can really see the resolution increase or decrease in the new firmware. And also check out this like red marker right here. You just uh, see if you can really see it clearly in the 8K resolution. In the new firmware upgrade, all of the color profile is kind of slightly changed from the version 165 to 200. So that's why if you look around that side, I have a color checker right here, a professional color checker right there, the pointing and list number two. So uh, I can bring this footage into DaVinci Resource and to color correct and matching the footage from the version 2.0 200 to version 165, or I can match the color with the Obsidian S and R and the Obsidian Go camera right here. So this video is not a direct comparison between the Obsidian S and the Insta360 Pro, but I'm making that tutorial right now as we speak after this video. So I'll have an in-depth tutorial to follow, figure out which camera is better for what scenario and which camera you should purchase according to your budget. So they are both great camera by the way. So, but is this, what is the difference between the camera? Why now not many people actually own both camera. So I will do the in-depth review in the next tutorial. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel when the tutorial come up so you can make a like, good decision to figure out which camera I should purchase. But back to what we are doing today, we are trying to review the brand, brand new firmware or the Insta360 uh, Pro right here filming it right now. Check out, so this is a brand new firmware. The setting right now, actually, let's check out the setting. So the setting right now is in ISO 100, and that's actually the goal you should shot with this camera. You should always try to shot in ISO 100 in an outdoor sunny scenario. It is not that sunny because it's, it's winter in California. I'm still wearing a t-shirt, so I'm, I'm crazy uh, because I really want to uh, use this shirt for calibration and focus assist to see how good is the resolution in 8K, but it's freezing outside. Uh, well, it's not so freezing, but it's California. It's kind of like not so sunny in the winter time, uh, but I also in 100s. I kind of want a little bit under expo of this footage. Why not? It's in manual, by the way. So uh, I want to kind of like un kind of study under expo the whole thing so we can really see like if you can see the crowd, the sun, uh, and see it is have the dynamic range increase. Right now, white balance in auto, but again, you can adjust the white balance in post with the color checker if you want to. Um, and in the new firmware and the new software control the new firmware also allow you to do ISO priority mode and shutter speed priority mode. So just like this camera now, it has more like professional feature. So I would suggest you actually outside shooting, use the ISO priority mode. The reason why is this camera performed the best in ISO 100. Hey everybody, so why right now we are back to firmware 165. And the setting right now on the camera is ISO 100 and shutter speed is uh, one of the 1250, one slash 1250. Uh, and again, it's an auto white balance. So look around and see the image quality. Look at the sky, so you see, if you see the crowd, the sun is over that side. It's a little bit cloudy in California today. So hopefully you can see the dynamic range of uh, this camera. And again, look at that. Uh, if you want to look at the old firmware color profile, uh, there's a color checker right there. So if you want to bring the footage in DaVinci, uh, the color correct them, and that is the reference you have. Uh, because the new firmware actually, well, the plate just fly by, sorry. It's the noise right there. Uh, I live next to a Santa Monica airport, so it's always 
airplane just fly by. Uh, but again, uh, the new firmware has a little bit color stripping, uh, color change of the new firmware. So uh, if you want to reference of now what is the old color profile look like and what is the new color profile look like in the new firmware, so that is the old color profile and look at the checker. And again, uh, look at my shirt. Uh, if you look, want to see if the resolution is up or down for the new firmware, in the old firmware, uh, pay attention to this red line, see if you can see it. Uh, also, pay attention to the, to the focal checker shirt I'm wearing and see, look at the, the pattern and see if you see like pretty clear pixel of the center of, of this circle uh, and around it. Uh, to make it fun, I will just step backward. So keep staring at my checker shirt to see the resolution from really, 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 really kind of far away. Uh, when I'm 10 meters away from the camera. And then all the way back in. Well, let's just stand right here. There's a stand a distance that's pretty far away from the camera. If you can still see me, if it's still pretty clear, the resolution of, uh, well, one I'm filming 8K, by the way. So the resolution of uh, the new firm, the old firmware is actually pretty good uh, because people on the forum complain about new firmware actually see a solution job. So let's find out if the comparison in post if that is actually true. So in the new firmware, one of the major major upgrade that a lot of people get very excited is the increase of dynamic range. One of the biggest con complaint about professional videographer about this camera, the Insta two sixty. Pro is the dynamic range is not so great. So the highlight would blow out if you see the sky and the shadow would be crushed. Uh, so if this new update in Insta360 promised that the dynamic range will be dramatically increased in the video. So if it's true though, uh, well, why not filming you? Why now? It's that setting, right? So you should supposedly see the crowd on the sky, but if you look Behind you, in the dark area, the tree area, you're supposed to see the tree, the dark area as well. And also, claimed by the Insta360, uh, the clarity of the video will also increase. So I would suggest you to go check out, if you turn on the left, look at the tree, or you can actually turn on the right, look at the color checker to see if you see like a increase of the color. Uh, it's more popping, and that is also one of the issues I bring the color checker is because it look like the color is shifting in the new firmware. Uh, some people might don't like it and want to try to like match with the old footage. That's why you probably use that in color correct individual resource. And again, uh, is it really increased? Look at my shirt. Look at this like sh shirt right here. And actually, why not? I gotta do a test. I gotta walk back slowly and continue stare at me. Look at this red line right here to see if you can still see really clearly. And I, why not? I'm pretty, really, really far from the camera right now. So see like if it's like you can still clearly see my shirt and me and my face. Uh, I will basically stand right here for a couple seconds so you can pretty take a look at uh, if the new firmware have a decrease of the resolution or increase the resolution. Increase of uh, the, the color fidelity and the clarity. Uh, if that's the case, we're bringing in post. It's a great news because that really like makes this camera go into complete with uh, these two camera right here, the Go and the Obsidian S and R. So other cool feature that I will test in the next video uh, is if you film this uh, camera in 8K 30 frames per second in the post production, you can potentially like up the speed. And double to create 60 frames per second 8K footage. I have no idea how to do that. Uh, what is the native firm, native live frame rate of the camera? We have no idea, but they can just easily using software optical flow to up the frame rate from 30 to 60, which is, is actually pretty important. If you watch the footage in the ocular rift in a goggle, and usually you get a smoother motion in a 60 frame per second refresh way. So you, you will not see that if you're looking at people snowballing and doing extreme sport, you don't see the joggy, like weird feeling in just too slow frame rate. So that's a great feature. And we will test that actually uh, in post. Another cool feature is the new uh, software that allow you to adjust the curve. Right here, see the explosion curve, you can adjust that on the fly. Look at that. Why are we recording, right? We can I can increase the highlight, crush the shadow to create the look you really want, like life while recording. This is a great feature. Now you see everything is just look different. I can even boost the highlight, the mid tone right here to really make myself pop. But 
obviously that I'm not all the way in the shadow. I call shadow too much. Oh, I can leave the shadow! Dramatically. So you see me clearly. And also one of the great features of the software is you, now you see the histogram. So uh, that is also really helpful feature for professional videographer to actually see the histogram live. So there's some cool feature that uh, in the new firmware that uh, that not all, many camera have. So it's, it's, a, it's a good thing. Another great feature, however, is not really good to like, explain that in a 360 video. So I have a separate <coughs> video to talk about other great feature, like using the camera as a, as a e GPU to stitching your footage. Uh, if you have a slow laptop, which is kind of crazy, basically use the camera as a NVIDIA GPU. Uh, and then they have like extra features. So look at that, okay, above you right now, look at the wooden bean. So in the old camera firmware, they can never actually stitch that part really good. Uh, they always mess up the ceiling. So in the new firmware, they have a way to fix it. So let's see if they actually fix that. Uh, look at the footage, look up. And how good is that fixing it? Uh, do you still need to use Mythical or you don't even need Mythical anymore? Again, uh, this, this side is in the stitch line, right? So I just walk around. Uh, so see, am I still like really good not falling in the stitch line uh, with the new stitching resolution? Because stitching is, uh, stitching is really big on uh, any camera and I'm really huge on stitching and I want a camera that stitch perfectly. To see the new update of this firmware will adjust that, that is something that I'm really interested to find out. So now let's have an actual benchmark comparison. Again, this is not a comparison video between the uh, Obsidian S and R and the Instal uh, Pro, but I still want to put the camera in the exact location right there and then see if it's the dynamic range increase. Well, I know uh, we all know that it's increased right now from the old firmware, but is it increased enough to compare to professional camera? We don't know yet, but let's benchmark this and find out. So right now, filming me is the Obsidian R, which is filming me also in 8K. Uh, this camera is actually sturdy stereo, so it's kind of unfair right now because I gotta flip it out into mono to compare to the Insta right here, the Insta 260 Pro, uh, the brand new firmware. But I really want to check out the, how good is the sensor compared to the actual camera sensor compared to this one and, and that one filming in the Australian S. And again, look at the sun over there, the sky, the tree. Uh, turn around, look at there, look at the height, look at the shadow. Uh, so it's compare like dynamic range, right? Shadow and highlight and see, see the crowd. And again, if you want to check out the color profile, watch it to match color with the uh, the Insta Pro, uh, you can check out the color checker right here and see how good is the color fidelity of this camera. And also check out my shirt, check out focus. So let me just go pretty far away. Um, continue checking my shirt, my, my rest drive, to see how good is the clarity uh, resolution of the Obsidian S compared to the brand new firmware firm update of the Insta 260 Pro. Um, just come back in. You know what, just stand right here. So this is pretty far away, I think. Yeah, let's stand right here. That's where I stand uh, when I test the uh, Insta 261. So I'm pretty far away. Check out my shirt. Just stand still, right? Check out my shirt. Check out the rest stripe so you can see my face and everything. Okay. Uh, I just come back in, right? Slowly walk back right in. Right here and check out. Uh, get my shirt and then look up, check out the, the wooden bean, uh, the stitching and everything. Um, and turn around, look at everything. Just, just compare the image quality, uh, noise, look at the shadow, the noise, uh, and also uh, dynamic range and color fidelity and uh, clarity. Now let's talk about the 12K high resolution picture that introduced in the new firmware in version 2.0.0. Right now we are watching the 8K quality, but the next one right here is in the high 12K resolution. Let's take a closer look at the two picture. On the left is the 8K, on the right is 12K. And as you see, uh, if you see my shirt, pay attention to my shirt, the resolution is dramatically increased from 8K to 12K, which is pretty amazing. Also pay attention on the tree behind me as well. You can really see the outline of the tree and that is actually very, very far away from the camera. So the 12K resolution definitely is a game changer of this camera if you are into taking uh, still 360 photos. But let's take a comparison with actually just the regular AK of Obsidian's right here. 
And this is the photo of Obsidian. Again, Obsidian photo is less saturated, less contrast-ish, so more information retained in just the photo. But here is the close-up of the 12K and Obsidian. As you can tell from the shirt, yes, the shirt and Obsidian, uh, my shirt will be a little bit blurrier compared to the 12K version. It's not as sharp as the 12K. But if you pay attention on the my facial feature, you can kind of realize that the 12K version kind of like a painting. The increased resolution feel like is an HDR effect, but it is an HDR effect. What Instagram Pro do is they take a picture and combine them together and create this like increased resolution. So it does have this Pascal painting black out frame look on the original picture, which is if you take a closer look, it's not as natural uh, as it seems as a photo or picture. But Obsidian, uh, you see, see my face and still represent my face, still have that photorealistic effect. Do not have that Pascal painting look. So that's something that you have to be aware of. The last thing I want to talk about is the low light performance of the Insta360 Pro and the new noise reduction feature. And this is a beautiful Venice sunset in Southern California. As you see, the whole sky is Red. This is actually exactly what it looked like in a real lighting scenario. So uh, the camera actually captured the pretty like accurate about the information. But if you turn around on the low light area, uh, everything is just really dark. And also if you look down, the ground is supposed to be white, but now it have this like blue cast on it, and it's actually pretty noisy. I mean, maybe they have a slight improve uh, of the noise reduction, but it's obviously not enough in the low light scenario. The setting right now the camera for the Insta is actually ISO 100 in an ISO priority mode. So let's take a look at the neighbor camera right on you see on the right I also film with the, the Obsidian R at the same time. So you can see go take a look at the Obsidian R footage right here. As you see, uh, you see everything so clearly now. Obviously this camera let more light into the camera so in the exact same setting ISO 100 uh, and ISO priority mode uh, this camera can see more if you turn around you can see me right there still really clearly even the on the other side of the camera which is don't have the sun the only light source you can still see the crowd and the sky and the tree and the house behind it um, the camera capture is the footage is also not too saturated so you can add more color in color po in po production. If you look at the ground, is the actual true color of the ground. Really, if you want to shoot anything low light, you are not going to pick the Insta360 Pro uh, that came out, no matter how great the firmware, it's just not a good low light camera because it doesn't allow enough light into the camera and the sensor size is not big enough. So hopefully you enjoy and like this video. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to keep comment below on the video. I'll do my best to answer your question. And if you want to test something out, I'm gonna go ahead and test it for you. Uh, this is a 260 video, but I will make a follow up 2D version of the video. Just me talk about the footage I captured in this video and in my opinion about the version 200. Uh, versus the version 165 and also the Insta360 Pro versus the Obsidian S and R. Again, if you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and want to watch that comparison 2D video, comparison video between the Obsidian and the Insta Pro and the 2D recapture review of this video, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time.